Today we are celebrating the divine appearance of Srimati Radharani. So we will try to understand who is Srimati Radharani, what is her position and how we relate to Srimati Radharani and what kind of prayers and blessings we seek from Srimati Radharani. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, the most attractive thing for Lord the definition of God, according to Vedic scripture, means the one who is 100% self-sufficient. Atma Ramaha or Atma Kamaha. Atma means self, Ramaha means satisfied. So God is self-satisfied. There is nothing in this world that God is interested in. Because God is self-satisfied. He is not interested in anything outside of him. So even that kind of God who is actually self-sufficient, -suffic he possesses everything that anybody can desire. We all desire so many things. But all such things are present in Krishna in 100%. That is the kind of a person the God is. That Supreme Lord Krishna is attracted to something called bhakti, loving devotion. Everything is there with Krishna, but for bhakti, he gets attracted. This is the only thing that attracts Krishna. Shri Krishna Akarshini. Srila Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, he has studied Krishna very carefully. Okay, is there any something something else that Krishna get attracted? No, there is nothing else in this world that can attract Krishna. No, but there is something that Krishna is interested, is attracted to. That is loving devotion, pure unalloyed loving devotion. And Krishna confirms this in Bhagavad Gita. Many times is Mamchayo Avyabhicharena Bhakti Yogena Sevate. If somebody does seva to me with Avyabhicharena Bhakti. Vyabhichari Bhakti means for our profit we are doing. That is called Vyabhichara Bhakti. Avyabhicharena Bhakti means I am loving Krishna not for any benefit. I don't want any profit, any result or any benefit, then why are you loving Krishna? No, I just want to see Krishna happy. That's all. I don't want anything. That is not the purpose of my bhakti. Krishna says, for, to such bhakti, I get drawn. I get attracted. Unlimitedly, I get attracted. So, this bhakti has got multiple flavors. Like, you know, there is ice cream and there are multiple flavors of ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, like that. Bhakti has got many flavors that attract, uh, that attracts Krishna. So primarily these flavors, our six Goswamis have described as five varieties. Starting from Dasya, starting from Shantarasa. This is a a uh, flavor of bhakti called Shantarasa Bhakti. In this Shantarasa Bhakti, a devotee is enjoying the greatness of God. Like for example, there is cricket game going on and there are so many audience sitting and watching that uh, match. And the player, whoever is playing, Somebody is hitting the ball or throwing the ball in such a way that he is able to, you know, uh, able to take that wicket in such a way that the, the audience is getting excited. Oh, they are clapping, they are waving their hands, they are dancing, right? So simply by seeing the greatness of that person, you feel excited. What is making you excited? What is making you feel so happy? Seeing the greatness of that person. The greatness of that person makes you fall in love with that person. But you don't have personal interaction with that person. 
There's so many people sitting in the bay and watching the match. They don't have personal relationship with the player. Probably they never spoken personally to that person. It is all distant relationship. But still you are excited. Still you are happy. Like sometimes we read this kind of news that uh, somebody walked all the way from Punjab to meet some Bollywood hero. You know, thousands of kilometers they walked. They don't know each other, but by seeing certain aspect of you, they become so attracted to you. So this is called Shantarasa. And this is one type of flavor in Bhakti. And little above that is called Dasya Rasa flavor. In this Dasya Rasa flavor, now not only you see the greatness of that person, you're happy and all that, but now there is a desire. I want to do something to this person. I want to do seva to this person. Not just seeing happy and I'm happy. I'm singing, dancing and you know all those things. No, now I want to do something to this person. This is now taking you towards little closer to that person. Okay, you're there. I am there. Your greatness is there. And I'm seeing that greatness and I'm being happy. This is Shantarasa. But in Dasya Rasa... I want to do something because you are so great. Because you are so great, I want to do something for you. So, I want to come to you. I want to do some seva to you. This is called servant or dasya rasa. Like we see Hanuman, Arjun. Not Arjun. Arjun is a friend. Hanuman and the many servants, they offer seva to Lord. So, next above that is called sakya rasa. Now, every flavor is getting more and more intimate. The definition of intimate, intimacy or intimate means the fear is reducing. The fear is reducing and you are able to feel the closeness with that person without having the fear of his greatness. This person is so great. The greatness of the person is not going to change. But in your approach to that person, that greatness of that person, the position of that person is becoming not so important. What is becoming so important is how to make that person happy. He may be so great person, but in the Shantarasa, he is so great. That greatness becomes the most important thing. In the Dasya Rasa also the greatness becomes so important. But it is little reduced. I want to do some seva. Uh, in Sakya Rasa, above that, he is a very great person. And I am his friend. I become friendly. Even when you are friendly, sometimes when you see the greatness of that person... You step back and say, yeah, yeah, you're great. You're great only. You're my friend, but you're still very great. Like Arjun in Bhagavad Gita, we see that uh, in the 11th chapter, when Krishna displayed Vishwarupa, and suddenly Arjun said, okay, you're my friend, but you're also a supreme Lord, right? Please forgive me. He started offering prayers and he said, please Forgive me because sometimes I've called you. Hey Krishna, hey Adava, hey Sake, hey Saka. Like this and all I've called you. Please don't take seriously. You're a very great person. I'm just your you know, friend like this. So yeah, I'm your friend. You know, like that. So then above that comes Vatsalya Rasa. Vatsalya means affection. Now your friendship has elevated to affection. So now out of affection, you're thinking, oh, ho, you know, now I want to do something. Not seva like the servant. But out of affection means, oh, come, I'll dress you. I'll bathe you. I'll feed you. Out of affection. So like father and mother. So there is an affection that I have to take care of this person. If I don't take care of this person, this person is not able to, you know, keep... Uh, he is not able to take care of himself. So this kind of a thinking develops. So now, no, no, but he is such a great person. What are you saying? You are saying that you will feed that person, such a great person. 
no that greatness is going to background what is coming in the forefront is your affection see there are two things one is greatness of the god another one is sweetness of the god so the when the greatness of the god is in the front so that is shantarasa and uh, little bit that greatness has come little background that is dasya rasa so greatness is like this going back or then what is coming in the front sweetness of that person more and more sweetness is coming in the front and uh, that much the greatness is going in the background greatness has not changed just because somebody is feeling like a father and mother of god that does not mean that they become bigger than god no they are still dependent on god they are still servants of god but their feelings are like that their emotions are like that so in that way their fear about the greatness of the god oh this person is so great that fear is reducing and reducing and reducing like yashoda she is almost she has zero fear of krishna who is so great the vedas are glorifying krishna everything is under your control but krishna says i don't care for all these things you may be the controller of everything right like the go other gopi uh, the gopikas the elderly gopikas they come and complain to mother yashoda your son is so naughty is coming and breaking the butter pots and is taking away all the butter if he eats no problem at least we feel we did so much of hard work and he ate but he is feeding to the monkeys how bad we feel we did so much of hard work and we made the butter and he is he is eating and then he is making his face this is so bad butter and then he says he feeds to monkeys and the monkeys eat so much and they get saturated and then they also you know because when you eat so much then after some time you you don't feel like eating anymore and then he says see your butter is so bad even monkeys don't eat so <laughs> like this he is doing all this thing so like this he they come and complain so then yashoda maya so she is getting angry at krishna is it true are you doing all this thing so she is not fearful that he is god he is the controller of everything anoraniyan mahato mahiyan like that no so the, her affection has taken over her affection has taken over and that position of the god has become insignificant and then the scripture say and the goswami is elaborate on this the above this vatsalya rasa is even more intimate it's called madhurya rasa why it is called madhurya rasa it is so sweet for god god considers this kind of uh, bhakti as very sweet um, you know it's very concentrated sweet in every flavor there is sweetness we should not misunderstand that in shantarasa there is no sweetness in that bhakti there is sweetness but that sweetness is 100% concentrated in madhurya rasa in madhurya rasa where the devotee completely controls and captures god and the god feels that he has come under the control of this devotee without the devotee as if i can't exist if you can make god feel like that these are all again we have to carefully understand these are all experiential bhakti experience they are not constitutional experience when i say that uh, if god feels oh without you i can't be there that <coughs> oh that means god has become so incapable no 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 god is always great but bhakti has that kind of effect on god it has effect on god that god feels oh without you i can't be there and who makes him feel like that the devotees of vrindavan they make him feel like that they make him god completely helpless without them god feel no i just can't be there he has become so dependent on such devotion and such devotees that's what chaitanya mahaprabhu said this kind of devotion is the best devotion which is demonstrated and exhibited by vrindavan vasis and among those vrindavan vasis the highest 
just such madhurya bhakti was demonstrated by shrimati radharani and who is shrimati radharani she is the prema shakti ananda shakti of krishna krishna has expanded himself his shakti as ahladini shakti ahlada means the one which gives happiness so krishna everything is the energy of krishna parasya shaktir vividhaiva shruyate so that shakti of krishna has come as shrimati radharani when krishna comes as krishna the tahladini shakti of krishna comes as shrimati radharani and here it is said krishna kanta gana kanta means attract it has two meaning they are attracted by krishna and they attract krishna they are also attracted by krishna and krishna is also attracted by them like a magnet right so they get immediately are attracted so krishna kanta gana in that trividha prakara there are three types and first type is lakshmi gana lakshmi gana they are all present in vaikuntha loka and then mahishi gana mahishi means the queens and they are all in dwaraka and in vrindavan there is a vraja gana and among them radhika is the highest and all this lakshmi mahishi vraja gana they all are expansion of shrimati radharani and shrimati radharani gives the experience of madhurya bhakti to krishna where there is absolutely no distance with god you know when there is somebody who is so great when you interact with that person we are little worried we are that is called in the shastra aishwarya bhava what if something goes wrong what if if i don't satisfy this person properly what if i am incapable our incapability and the greatness of that person will always be there in the in other types of bhaktis but in madhurya bhakti there is no gap there is no that uh, you know aishwarya bhava the position of that person doesn't affect your behavior it doesn't uh, influence your behavior that krishna you know sometimes because we are all very ordinary people sometime when somebody makes you feel good by saying oh you are uh, you are our leader you are our king we feel good about it because we are generally ordinary people and sometimes people make us feel good that makes us feel good but krishna is always great krishna is is always constitutionally great he is supreme always so for him devotee is coming and uh, making him feel you are great you are great is a very common experience what makes him feel very special is somebody does not consider him as great supreme powerful all those things and then treat him in such a way that makes krishna feel very sweet and very special krishna enjoys that now we heard this today oh now now i'll go to krishna and say hey krishna come here <laughs> immediately will go to hell for behaving like that <laughs> only qualified people krishna doesn't give this adhikar to anybody and everybody just because i want to feel special like that that doesn't mean somebody is going on the road can come and make me feel like that no you have to qualify for that you must possess that special qualification who can command that kind of intimacy with krishna to an extent that the other person can get angry with krishna just see this if we are all worried we keep offering krishna please don't get angry with us krishna please prasida bhava prasida please be satisfied shant ho ja please be happy with us don't get angry but krishna is very scared whether this person will become angry at me so like that krishna is worried in vrindavan what if radharani becomes angry at me so when krishna is performing rasa dance what did krishna do so krishna was dancing with all the gopis in the rasa mandala and he expanded himself and he was dancing with everybody so radharani felt very uh, not she felt what is this krishna is not paying enough attention to me so she left rasa and and she disappeared then immediately that made krishna disturbed and worried where is radharani and she he started searching for her 
and so she was not there and he was searching searching he is searching everywhere isn't it and finally he went searching for her so like that we everybody is searching for krishna in this world everybody is searching for god but god is searching for radharani what is the speciality of that radharani not because in terms of the capacity and position she is more than krishna no her feelings for god is like that it is not the position and power what is being discussed here her feelings her love is so special and so intense and so intimate that god goes behind her god is searching for her in the vedas it is said that everybody is searching after god but god is searching after radharani why because Maam chayo avya bicharena bhakti yoga na sevate. So Krishna is remembering Radharani when he is speaking this verse. Avya bicharena bhakti, uncompromising, unconditional. What is this? Unconditional. There is no condition. There is no condition put. in this way only i will do otherwise like we say okay fine i'm i'm your devotee but uh, with conditions okay morning and all i cannot come for mangalarati maybe darshanarati i can come this is the condition if i you know that is how i may become your devotee or we say this big big book like bhagavatam and all i cannot read some small thing if you tell I'll... so we are devotees but with conditions okay naivedya bhoganda i'll do but in a small bowl i will do If Krishna comes and asks, "Give me chappan bog and all," sorry, yeah, that much bhakti and all I don't. But Radharani is not like that. You tell me what you want. There's no condition. I can do anything for you. Nothing can stop Radharani. This unstoppable, uncompromising attitude of this devotee is headed by Sri Mati Radharani is so captivating. Lord Krishna, that Krishna gets attracted to Radharani. Radha means Aradhate. She worships Krishna like this. So <coughs> that is who Sri Mati Radharani is. So uh, let us learn some prayers on this occasion of Sri Mati Radharani's appearance and uh, how great personalities they see Radharani. What they offer prayers to Radharani. and what kind of blessings they seek from radharani so we will try to hear that so we will uh, chant and recite so that we will learn okay <clears throat> first prayer which we every day offer is a uh, prayer given to us by shrila rupa goswami tapta kanchana gaurangi radhe vrindavaneshwari first rupa goswami is describing how she looks like तप्त कांचन गौरांगी गौरांगी मीन्स वॉट वॉट इज अ मीन अ गौरा गौरा मीन्स गोल्डन कॉम्प्लेक्शन दैट इज कॉल्ड गौरा गोल्डन कॉम्प्लेक्शन बाय द वे दिस वेन वी हियर अबाउट द गोल्ड वी ओनली नो द गोल्ड ऑफ द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड बट द स्क्रिप्चर टेल द गोल्ड हैज डिफरेंट ग्रेडेशन the material world gold what we see is the lowest grade of the gold so that itself people are mad after so you know shining and attractive isn't it everybody <laughs> gets attracted to gold and that is a costliest uh, thing that we see so but uh, scriptures say above the gold that human beings use is the gold used by gandharvas that gold is much much more special and above the gold what gandharvas use the gold used by devatas that gold has thousand times more qualities attractive quality than the gold that we see in the material world and then above the gold which the devatas use the gold that krishna narayana lakshmi radharani they all use so rupa goswami is saying the attraction that is exuding from radharani's bodily complexion is something that you may compare to a golden complexion of the spiritual world it is not the material world gold tapta kanchana kanchana is an another name of gold 
Taptaha means molten. When you when you melt that gold, when the gold is melted and it is heated, it gains even more that special feature of shining. Tapta kanchana gaurangi. Radhe, Radhe, Radharani, you are Vrindavaneshwari. Ishwara means controller. Ishwari means a controller. You are the controller of the controller of Vrindavan. Krishna is the owner of Vrindavan. Right? But she, you are the owner of that Krishna. Radhe, Vrindavaneshwari. Pranamami. Ami means I. First person in Sanskrit is it's like Ami. Pranamami. Pranamaha. So what do I do with that Radharani? Will I make friendship with Radharani? No. I will surrender to you. I will offer my obeisances to you. Pranataha means I fall. Falling is called Pranataha. I fall at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani who is a queen of Vrindavan. Pranamami Hari Priye. You are dear to Lord Krishna. Hari Priye. What is your position that you have become dear to? Lord Krishna. Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rushabhanu Sute Devi You are the daughter of Vrishabhanu. The daughter of Vrishabhanu. And I offer my obeisances to you. This is Rupa Goswami's prayer. <clears throat> now, what is Sanatana Goswami's prayer? Sanatana Goswami is offering prayer which is a very, very different and peculiar uh, prayer. So let us see what is that. Please repeat this. Radha, Radha. Aradhita, Aradhita Radha Radhita <coughs> Radhesha, Radha Radhita Radhesha Radhika Pranavallabha Radhika Pranavallabha Radha Ramana Vandetvam Radha Ramana Vandetvam Radhika Prema Nirjita Radhika Prema Nirjita So in this prayer only Radha's names are there but actually the prayer is to Krishna he is offering his prayer to Krishna but he is only chanting Radharani's name he is saying Krishna maybe I am offering prayers to you but my heart is with Srimati Radharani. And that I am making it very clear in my prayers. Maybe I am talking about you. I am offering prayers to you. But I am not going to leave Srimati Radharani. See this. Radha Aradhita. Krishna, you are Radha Aradhita. You are worshipped. You are extolled by Radharani. Who are you? That he is not saying. He is only talking as if he is speaking about Radharani. Radha Aradhita. And who are you? Radhesha. Again he is not saying Krishna. He is saying you are Radhesha. Anything I want to tell about you, I will tell through Radharani's name only. He is attempting like that. Radha Aradhita. Radhesha. You are the master of Radharani. Right? And then he says... Radhika Pranavallabha You are the soul of Radharani. And Radharani is your soul. Radhika Pranavallabha How much she is dear to you? Vallabha means dear. Everything, some things are very dear to us. Like something, if somebody asks you, uh, how much is the uh, one Gulab Jaman is dear to you? We know how much it is dear to you. I am not going to commit suicide if I don't get uh, gulab jamun. That much it is not dear to me. But something which can take my soul without that. Isn't it? What is that? Radharani. That much uh, Krishna is, uh, you know, he feels Radharani is dear to him. So, Radhika 
ಪ್ರಾಣ ವಲ್ಲಭ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಡಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಮೈ ಲೈಫ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಹಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಪ್ರಾಣ ವಲ್ಲಭ ರಾಧಾ ರಮಣ ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಸನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ರಾಧಾ ರಮಣ ಒಂದೇ ತ್ವಂ ಐ ಆಫರ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಿರ್ಜಿತ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ನಾಟ್ ಬೈ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಿರ್ಜಿತ ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೈ ಜೀವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮಯಿ ರಾಧಾ ರಾಧ ಪ್ರೇಮಯೋ ಹರಿ ಜೀವನೇನ ಧನೆ ನಿತ್ಯ ರಾಧ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಗತಿರ್ಮ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮಯಿ ರಾಧಾ ದಿಸ್ ರಾಧಾ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮಯಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯು ನೋ ಮಯಿ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಯ ಮಯಿ ಮಯ ಮಯಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೀ ಪುಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಓಷಿಯನ್ ವಿನ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೌತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೀ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಮೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಮೈ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಮೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಲವ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಧಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಧ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಮೈ ಹರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಧಾ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ಗೇವ್ ದ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಪುಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ no we are we know there is some salt in this water but that so ocean water is saturated with salt so like that krishna is saturated with love for radha and radha is saturated love for krishna jeevanena dhane nityam they are the real wealth of my life so how how should be our prayer that my dear krishna my dear radharani you are my real wealth you are my real success you are my real uh, greatest thing that i can achieve in my life we should really feel like that not that oh yeah, i think if i become an ias officer that will be the real wealth in my life or maybe if i can accumulate some money that going to be my real wealth it's very Uh, materialistic agnana thinking that may be there that will let it be there but my real wealth i should seriously thinking and working hard is how can i get radha krishna in my life how can i get radha krishna in my life like narottam das takur says he says that uh, manushya janma paibe i got manushya janma radha krishna na bhajibe but i did not get radha krishna in my life i did not achieve radha krishna in my life manushya janma paibe radha krishna na bhajibe janinu knowingly khainu visha knowingly knowingly i drank the poison and is lamenting what did i do in my life knowingly knowingly i drank the poison i know it is poison and i am drinking that poison what kind of foolish person i am i should have got radha krishna in my life radha krishna gatir mama you are the only destination in my life 
You are the only goal I want to achieve in my life. Not that simply if I am free, I will think of Radha Krishna. No. How somebody is so serious of getting money or getting some position in their life, they are always thinking, preparing for that. Like that we have to think and prepare ourselves how to get Radha Krishna in our life. Right? And the greatest example of that is Lord Shiva. And Lord Shiva in the Urdhvamanya Tantra, he is speaking to Mother Parvati and he is telling this. Please repeat this. These are the prayer that Lord Shiva is offering to Radharani. He says, please repeat. Keshava. Keshava. Keshava Preeta. Keshavi. Keshava Priya. Rasa Krida. Kari Rasa, Vasini, Rasa Sundari. See what he is saying. Keshava, Keshava Preeta. You are the one who makes Keshava happy. Who is Keshava? He is using the word very carefully. In Sanskrit, Keshava has come from two words. Ka and Isha. Ka is the name of Lord Brahma in Sanskrit. Ka means Brahma. Isha means Lord Shiva. Keshava means a father of Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. It's called Keshava. Keshava, Keshava Preeta. You are so great. You make this person who is the father of Brahma and Shiva, you make him happy. That is your position. Keshava, Keshava Preeta. Keshavi. You are Keshavi because you make Keshava. And he says Keshava Priya. Rasa Krida Kari Rasa, you attract Krishna in the Rasa dance. Vasavi, Vasini, Rasa Sundari, you are the most attractive person in the entire Rasa dance. Everybody is attracted to Krishna, but Krishna is attracted to you in the Rasa dance. That is your glory, that is your position. Krishna Premavati Dhanya. Krishna feels Dhanya by see, taking your Prema, by taking your love. Krishna Prema Tarangini, you create the Taranga. Taranga means the waves. You know, you take some stone and you throw into some water pond. You'll immediately see the waves start coming, ripples start coming. So like that, who creates the ripples and the waves in the heart of Krishna? That is Radharani. Simply by seeing Radharani, there are waves and ripples of love in Krishna's we may maximum create some uh, waves of love that to materially, that to as long as some dopamine and all those chemicals are there in somebody's body, we may create like that in somebody's heart. But can you create the waves of love in the soul, heart of Krishna? Who has that uh, capacity? Srimati Radharani has got. What is he? What is Lord Shiva saying? Uh, Krishna Prema Tarangini Taranga in Sanskrit means waves. Krishna Prema Tarangini. You can create the waves and ripples of love in Krishna's heart. And then he says, Prema Bhakti Prada Prema. You can give that Prema Bhakti to me according to my capacity. Again, we should not misunderstand. It's very nice. Okay, now I should also get the same, uh, you know, bhakti like Radharani. Like Radharani, yes, that is nice, but not in terms of quantity. That much capacity we don't have. So as per our qualification, as per our eligibility, Radharani gives the similar prema bhakti, which is very intimate, which is very special, which is very sweet, that has capacity to attract Krishna, that Radharani can give. So, prema ananda tarangini, she can also create the uh, waves of the happiness that is a result of such love. So, these are the prayers that Lord Shiva is offering and he is telling Mother Parvati also, you should also offer this prayer. So, these are all very special prayers uh, that great, great personalities and the devotees are offering to Srimati Radharani. And who is Srimati Radharani? She is the Veda Bhimani. She is the in charge of the Vedic knowledge. If anybody has to get any, some knowledge about Krishna, who is God, that is only possible through Radharani. Samvit Sandini Ahladini Shakti. The Chit Potency, that knowledge of Krishna comes only if Radharani gives that knowledge to us. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, we have only Agnana, ignorance. 
so these are all position of radharani who is radha who how she is uh, related to krishna and how we are related to radharani and how we are related to radharani this is one very special prayer and today we should learn by heart by, you know offer to this uh, Ra- prayer to radharani as many times as possible and this is prayer offered by raghunath das goswami please repeat this we will learn this word by word tavaivasmi 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 na jeevami tvaya vina iti vijnana devi tvam maya ma charanantikam so raghunath das goswami is saying tavaiv asmi i am only yours asmi tava tava tavaiv asmi i am only yours and he is telling this repeatedly tavaiv asmi tavaiv asmi i am only yours i am only yours i only belong to you radharani please consider me as i am yours i please consider me that i am one of your person tavaivasmi tavaivasmi na ji if you don't accept me as your person then he says na jeevami i think i i don't think i'll be alive after that if you reject me if you reject me that no 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 you don't belong to me you you're not my person i'll not be able to carry my life na jeevami na jeevami tvaya vina without you without becoming your person your servant i don't think i can carry my life he says na jeevami tvaya vina tavaivasmi tavaivasmi na jeevami tvaya vina na jeevami i can't be alive iti vijnana please understand this he is asking radharani iti vijnana understanding like this iti vijnana devi tvam he devi you please understand my situation this is who i am and this is what i am feeling that i can't be alive without becoming your servant belonging to you nayamam charanantikam please take me close to your lotus feet he is making it very clear where is my position is saying at your lotus feet that is my position not anywhere else charanantikam at your lotus feet so a devotee should feel that i sh- you know i should belong to radharani not maya not this material world maya devi we are all running behind maya devi please make me yours please make me yours please make me yours but a devotee is saying radharani please make me yours why maya makes you forget krishna and radha makes you always remember krishna smartavyam satatam vishnu vismartavyo na jatu ched so krishna is saying in bhagavad gita remember me always man mana bhava mad bhakto who can make you that radharani can make you that so uh, that is why tavaivas i am yours i am not i am not uh, servant of maya i am not maya das i am radha das tavaivasmi tavaivasmi na jeevami tvaya vina iti vijnana devitvam oh my dear devi radharani please understand this nayamam charanantike please take me close to your lotus feet so this prayer we should offer to radharani please take me at your lotus feet make me servant of your lotus feet make me part because you know he is uh, Ra- raghunath das goswami is being very smart and being very intelligent he is not asking krishna please make me one of your person krishna is saying that for that you should have qualification in in bhagavad gita krishna has made it very clear that you should have qualification but uh, we know somehow we are not so qualified but still i should somehow come closer to krishna so the easiest way is to approach radharani why karunam kurumai karuna vrnite karunam kurumai because krishna is also karuna but radharani is more merciful krishna likes radharani 
So if Radharani becomes compassionate upon me, she will recommend my name to Krishna. And because of that recommendation, somehow Krishna will accept. So he first wants to be in the group of Radharani, servant of Radharani. And then Krishna may look at that because Krishna will come to see Radharani. So he will also mm -hmm. see the servants of Radharani and then he, will, he may see me. So I may get the mercy of Krishna. Final goal is to attain the mercy of Krishna. But better that is easily attainable through Srimati Radharani. Tavaivasmi, Tavaivasmi, Na Jeevami Tvayavina. Right? And what is the Iti Vijnana Devitvam Nayamam Charanantike? He is offering this prayer. So we see this how Krishna takes Radharani so seriously. So uh, once uh, Radharani, she decorated herself. And uh, when she decorates, she decorates in such a way. One of her qualities that she decorates in such a way that Krishna's attraction to her increases. So this is how, you know, the, the devotees uh, dress themselves. We should dress that Krishna likes us. So how should we dress? We should dress the way Krishna has told us to dress. Like putting tilak, wearing kanti mala, right? This is how Krishna likes to see us. So Radharani decorated herself and she came to Krishna in Barsana and asked Krishna, how do I look like? So then immediately Krishna said, oh, your face looks so beautiful like the moon, Chandra. Immediately Radharani became very angry and upset by hearing that. Because she said that you are talking about Chandravali. There is another gopi. So her name is Chandravali. Radharani said that you are comparing, you are, you are actually talking about Chandravali by seeing my face. So she got very angry and that is called Mana. Mana is a different word in uh, you know, Ra, this Krishna's, Krishna consciousness. Mana means very intense anger. She got intensely angry and there is one of the mountain in Barsana. There are four mountains. Brahmagad, Mangad, you know, like that, Vrishabhanagad. So she went on top of one mountain and she, she sat there. So now Krishna became full anxiety and he's worried. Now, see, Krishna, why should he be worried? If he, if he become ang angry, we should be worried. Right? When we are doing seva, we are always worried. Are we doing any aparad, seva aparad, you know, deity aparad like that? We are worried. But Krishna is worried that, oh my God, what happened? Radha has become angry. Now, how to make Radharani pacified? How to make her come out of her anger? So he is worried and he, what, should, what to do? So then he approached Krishna, Radharani's Sakhi. Radharani has got eight Sakhis, Ashta Sakhis. So one of the Sakhis name is Lalita Sakhi. Lalita Vishaka, right? Lalita Vishaka Ramite. So Lalita Vishaka, they know mood and mind of Radharani very well. So Krishna approached Lalita and said, please give me some idea now how to make Radharani very happy. She has become very angry at me. So then uh, Lalita said, okay, that's very difficult, but uh, what to do? I'll give you some, uh, you know, I have to help you also. So I'll, I'll give you some idea. So Radha, Lalita Devi decorated Krishna as one of the gopi. See what all Krishna has to do. So Lalita Devi decorated Radharani as one of the gopika. Fully dressed like one uh, Gopika Stri. And then she, Lalita took this uh, Krishna who is in the dress of a Gopika and took him to Radharani. And Radha was so upset and angry and she was sitting and she was crying. Uh, at that time, uh, so Lalita Devi said to, you know, you are very angry. Let us make you feel little better. So I've got this uh, new Gopi from Vrindavan. So this gopi can play veena very nicely. He plays veena very beautifully, very nicely. I think if this gopi plays veena, I think it can make you feel nice like that. So Lalita Devi was giving this suggestion to Radharani and Radharani said, okay, fine. What is the name of you? Radharani asked the new gopi. The new gopi said, my name is Shama. <laughs> my name, my, my new name is Shama. Because Shama... Is the name of Krishna only. But when you make it Shama, it becomes a feminine. So he said, my name is Shama. Shama Gopi. Okay, play Veena. So the Veena was being played and playing. And by hearing that, hearing that the Radharani's anger melted. It melted 
and radharani came to normal state of mind and then she immediately detected this kind of veena only krishna can play and she you know carefully observed and she figured out there is one peacock feather this gopi is wearing and she said tell me who are you really and he revealed his identity and radha and krishna they got again united and there is a place called mangad in barsana there is a beautiful temple called man mandir so there is this deity of radha and krishna like this krishna can go to any extreme just to make radharani happy just to see radharani uh, you know pleased why the supreme lord because that's a kind of bhakti that radharani carries that is a spe- aham bhakta paradhina krishna says i am adhina how much are you adhina adhina means under control paradhina means completely under the control krishna is saying in shrimad bhagavatam 9th canto aham bhakta paradhina i am completely under the control of my devotees and especially is referring to shrimati radharani every devotee control krishna but who can control krishna 100% that is shrimati radharani that's the kind of bhakti so all that what is what is the lesson that we are learning from all these things is the power of bhakti speciality of bhakti so we should aspire for developing fraction of the fraction of the fraction of the bhakti that this vrindavan devotees are carrying for krishna even one atom of that bhakti if i develop my whole life will become successful we should aspire for that right we should not aspire that i how i can become equal to radharani all these things are all very dangerous we can only say how can i become servant and servant and servant of this great personalities how can i follow their footsteps like radharani is uncompromising she is unconditionally ready to surrender to krishna every time when we come in front of radha krishna krishna give me that shakti give me that courage give me that you know uh, energy so that i can also uncompromisingly surrender to your lotus feet so many things are attracting me so many things are pulling me away so many things are distracting me in the material world please make me that i get attracted only to your lotus feet to the lotus feet of shrimati radharani these you know prayers we should keep offering keep offering and uh, by offering such prayers one day uh, lord krishna will bless us and already has blessed because when he sees there is some kind of sincerity in you he sends the servant of radharani to you and who is that servant of uh, radharani spiritual master the spiritual master guru is actually from the group of shrimati radharani the song that we sing in the morning nikunjayono ratikeli sidhyai yaya alibihi alibhi in sanskrit means the gopikas are called alibihi and the guru said eh hey, my dear guru you are expert in doing assistance to the gopikas and who are again expert in assisting radha krishna you are coming from there you are in their group you are so close to them you know the mind and heart and soul of radha and krishna so you know who is krishna you know who is radharani and they come and they tell us what and all we should do so that we can become devotees of radha and krishna so we should pray to radharani please make me good servant of your servant shrila prabhupa so that i can follow his teachings so that i can carry out his instruction and i become qualified and eligible to surrender to your lotus feet so with this we will uh, celebrate today's radhashtami with this mood with this knowledge with this consciousness and uh, uh, chanting hare krishna mantra more and more makes radharani happy because in that mantra there is hara every time that hare hara comes that is referring to shrimati radharani let us pray to shrimati radharani and uh, take her shelter shrimati radharani ki shri radhashtami maha mahotsav ki jagat guru shri la prabhu pad ki जय